Ladies and gentlemen, happy Tuesday. Great to see you. My name is Axel Toss. I'm joined by Axelab. We're here at the MLG Studios in New York City covering the uh, MLG Winter Exhibition where we gave a second chance to the round one losers of the Winter Championship event in Dallas, Texas not too long ago. We threw them all in a bracket. And now we're seeing what comes out of it. Yes, uh, of course, you know, just because they're round one losers right. doesn't mean they're slouches. We have <laughs> IMC, the GSL champion, yeah. versus Marine King Prime here, who, of course, is a uh, two-time MLG champion, mm -hmm. uh, if you count the arenas. So two insanely talented people, both knocked out round one, both fighting here. Marine King is up 1-0 to zero right now. Let's get into game number two. I'm ready. I want to get into game number two. Of course, Marine King, very solid game. Okay. I think that's that's that might be uh, an understatement. You know, what do you? For, I just have a quick question before I introduce these players. Um, what do you make of that building position, the factory, and the starboard? I, I'm trying to understand. Is it just to be closer to his opponent? I guess. I mean, I, it has to be it. I, that's but, only thing without I being proxied like crazy yeah, and making it sure. like pseudo gimmicky. Yeah, just just to get that closer, faster meta. Do you back, think probably. he'll ever put that put it there again? I mean, it just seems so vulnerable. Maybe it was part of the plan as a bait. <laughs> Get him to use some force fields early. Maybe it was. I don't you know. never know with this guy. <laughs> uh, of course, Marine King Prime is your Terran player in the bottom left hand location of the red color. His opponent in the bottom right hand location, or the top right, I should say, is the blue Protoss player seed. And this is a best of five, and this is game number two. And seed, you know, he, he went for that early aggression. Used all those force fields, then tried to get those upgrades going. But Marine King hit pretty much the perfect timing to exploit how much his opponent was investing into those upgrades to optimize his push. So really cool build there, really cool push there from Marine King, really cool timing. But, you know, don't count Seed out. Oh, no. He's no. a very good player. He is. You know, one thing I found interesting is the timing Marine King did yeah. seemed like the perfect time to be as fast an attack as possible that can pretty much ignore the Photon Overcharge. You know, uh, if you try to do these early, like, no medevac, just like marine attacks, mm -hmm. Protoss just says, ha, you invested in that, and I'm going double upgrades, I'm just going to photon overcharge and be happy. But we saw that, you know, that game he had it on a Nexus, but once there's, like, four to f I think he had, uh, he had actually three medevacs on that push, but more rallying in, and he had a, a very sizable force, mm -hmm. that the one Nexus, you know, it's, it just takes out a couple marines in the battle, but it's not super significant. So uh, I, that was all part of the plan, like uh, to, to hit at that time when you could, it's really a, a HOTS type timing, I think. Yeah, it, it's pretty map dependent too. I mean, if it's like a map where the natural, it's it's going to be a narrower choke. I mean, because if we're talking about Aqualon Waste, that ramp leading up to the natural, it's quite it, it's, it's pretty sizable. Like you have to have a lot of sentry energy to really keep your opponent away. So I think, of course, that build revolved around that map. Now, I could see it kind of working here as well. I mean, we're, there's no high ground advantage per se. Like, right outside the natural, you got even ground. But then you have a ramp over here and uh, a ramp at the third down here, which could potentially be used as a uh, defender's advantage. But as of right now, Marine King opening pretty much identical to last game. The command center on the low ground very fast. Actually, last game he did on the high ground. This game he's going low ground. And his opponent doing the same thing he did. Two gases. Very... Nicely saturated, so really going for that gas kind of again. Another fast mothership core. You know, one thing I, I'm trying to figure out why he would put the command center high ground in game one and then now in the low ground game two. It could be because he was more afraid of cheese. And then normally, like knowing Marine King, right, he, he either goes crazy fast command center or proxies. And if you see him do fast command center, you'll be like, he won't do that again, so I shouldn't cheese him. And so he's like, okay, I'll just do it, put on low ground because I think you're not going to cheese me. It could be one of those type of ultimate mind game things. Marine King is a, a big fan of, of those type of plays. Oh. Uh, but otherwise, looking very similar to the first game. Will the SCV get out the Mothership Core? that Nexus going down, but he's running right into the I hope, but he's going to see the Nexus. Photon Cannon, he is. Which is nice. I mean, he, yeah. he, he strongly suspected it when he saw the probe come out, but it's always nice to have a, an extra confirmation that uh, you know the Protoss is indeed expanding. Well, I, I want to get your thoughts on this build, though, from Seed. Right to the Mother's Record and then Nexus. What do you think about it? I mean... The one thing I like about it is that he, he doesn't scout, right? Which means everything is actually faster than it would normally be. Sure. And because he's not scouting, he kind of has to get that Mothership Core out early because what if the Terran's, you know, uh, going like fast Helling drop? He needs that Photon Overcharge on the Nexus in the main so he doesn't lose all his probes. Uh, or, or something like that, right? So I actually like this. He follows up with a fast Robo. So... The first expansion isn't super fast, right? It's, it's later than the Terrence. But he has extra economy because he never scouted. So, you know, scout actually uh, hurts sure. your economy a decent amount. 
And then he follows up with a very fast robotic. So he's ready to deal with, you know, Widowmine drops or, or just, you know, uh, it basically it's a very catch-all build. There's no real disadvantage to it, but there's no super strength to it either. It's, it's just a very kind of generic opening. All right, we have another hallucinated oracle making its way to his opponent's Ooh, main not gonna base. Going to get sniped away pretty quickly. No SCV pull required from Saw the factory timing, though. He did see that Which factory. Is... It's kind of nice to, to check out that timing. And he's going to know about the expansion based off that. Yes, yes, of Undoubtedly. course. Undoubtedly. Also saw the gas. I don't know if he clicked on that, though. But I don't Honestly, how much are you going to be able to tell from that? But, um, you know, we see Marine King adding on a faster engineering bay here, going for that plus one. Oh, a second scout coming out from seed this time, a Phoenix. So Jeez, that's a lot of energy. It is, which means he probably isn't going to do that poke he did last game. Of course, maybe thinking that that could have been what caused him to lose. Uh, it's really hard to tell. The Phoenix this time... He's going to get in some good scout information. Marines guarding the back, the worker line. You know what's neat? He keeps sending these hallucinated air units out. And so he's actually going there. It's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, here, here's some air units. Here's some air units. And Ricky's like, oh, it's a fake. It's a fake. It's a fake. And then all of a sudden, one real Oracle is going to come in there. And it's going to kill so many SCVs because Marine King will never suspect that. Uh, it's like the boy who cried wolf, right? The, I'm going to laugh when he like builds a turret. <laughs> yeah, he just knows what's up. Uh, the, Could the, happen. You know, but the Marines will get tired of the SCVs saying, hey, look out, there's a guy coming to kill us, right? They will. That's and a great say, point. Yeah, to say, you know what? That last time it was a fake. We're not going to come to your aid anymore because you're just making us walk around. We're and trying we're... to worry about assaults from the front, and yeah. you're telling us to come protect you from something that's fake. You stop it. And then the, or the real Oracle is going to wander in. SCVs are going to say, hey, Marines, come help us. And they're going to ditch them. They're going to ditch them. Uh, it very well could happen. Could happen. All right, we'll keep an eye on that for sure. Marine King doing a uh, pretty significant difference this game. Uh, double tech labs instead of double reactors, but still going to five barracks before a third base, and still no, no, uh, only one E base. Uh, so, a, a similar build to last game, five barracks before uh, basically any investment in the late game, which means yeah. he's he should do damage or also be behind. Except that, you know, uh, Seed's not going double forge or or super, you know, going straight to storm either. He's getting the air play, so it's going to be. How much damage can Seed's airplay do, and how much damage can Marine King's frontal assault do? So this is a little bit scary in a sense because Seed is investing a lot into the Stargate units that are going to be across the map with when this push ends up coming. So sure, he might be able to do some damage to the workers, but he's not going to have necessarily added reinforcements to deal with this this bio push. So um, you know he's going to have plenty of force fields to to try to section off those units, but. It's, it's still going to be a little bit tricky. Now, the Oracle's about to wander into his opponent's main base. Are there any turrets here? No turrets available. And those Oracles could potentially do a lot of damage. We'll keep an eye on that. Meanwhile, Marine King advancing, marching on into the natural expansion of his opponent. And Seed is kind of backing up a little bit, placing down the Photon Overcharge. Oracle's just now going into his opponent's main base, and now they're going to start getting the damage done. And we can start counting up here. So Five many kills, SCVs going down. Seven kills, eight kills. Marine King's trying to elevate her into Seed's main during this, but Seed still has another Photon Overcharge you can put in his main nexus. Uh, he also has six Warp Gates, so he can watch a for? Is it ton in of the guys. It, it, it's okay, in the main. Right in the main. Nice. Yeah, it's getting ready to defend that. So Seed's in great defense. The Oracles, oh, cool. they're killing everything at the natural. Great force Beat. shield there. I'm going to try to get a shot of that right now. And yes, indeed. Eight kills, seven kills, 15. Oh, man. Marine 17. King is getting slaughtered here. Marines are rallying up, but Marauders one at a time. can't shoot up. Oh, man. And these Oracles have been accumulating energy as well. Marines they just not getting there, but the Marines going to die. Seed doing so much damage to the Oracles. Meanwhile, here comes the bio into the natural. But Seed is holding strong. That's Second what's important about charge. this. Yeah. Great play from Seed. Marine King's got to get something done. He lost so many SCVs. He has to back away. Maybe he's going to do... Oh, okay. mass drop in the main. And this work? Now there's no energy left on that Mothership core, so there's not going to be a Photon Overcharge in the main nexus. It's going to come to the gateway units. And it's mostly Zealots. Fighting a choke point, got this could be disastrous of, for C. We got a lot of upgrades in progress as well, which means there's a lot of investment not necessarily in this composition. Much core getting taken out, Zealots being targeted down as well. C trying to deal with this, but he simply does not have enough. Trying to orbit three more Zealots, trying to get rid of this bio army, but Marine King being very cost efficient here. Is it cost efficient enough? I think, I think C so. might eventually drive this away with his mass warpins, but he's should. losing so much. Oh my god. He's losing most, most of his workers as Can well. He, kill this? Okay. He, he had he had to pull his workers to help fight that off and right, let's look at stuff. Wow, both players just absolutely like lobotomize each other's economy. Yeah, twenty workers killed the thirteen, but Oh the Oracles are coming back. But there's the Viking! Yeah, Viking is there. Oh poor Oracles. Luckily they're faster than the Vikings, so they are gonna escape. One with seven kills, the other with 18, so that's Marine 25 King combined kills. Is definitely ahead here. I mean, he has 41 to 33 harvesters, 99 to 70 in supply. The good news for Seed Charge is about to finish. And plus two armor. And plus two armor, so he's going to have the upgrade advantage, I believe. 
Marine King has yes. one one, so yeah. Oh wait, he doesn't have a weapons upgrade here on the forge. Yeah, oh so it'll be basically upgraded quality, although yeah. it'll slightly favor seed. Having two armor sure. is better than one one. But it's not gonna be a huge deal. Marine King has a definite supply advantage, and Marine King has a lot of medevacs. He's had those five barracks yeah. as well, constantly but producing units. He doesn't have a third base, so he's still gonna be able to apply a lot of aggression here. Oh, and he's and this time there's Archons, but there's no Mothership Core uh, quite back out yet. Yeah. And uh, I feel like C just didn't, didn't think it was worth it. Wanted to crank out those uh, those high Templar units. What I'm worried about for C to, is just the medevac count. What, what drove him back before was the medevacs were now oh. out, out of energy, but now they're back full of energy. C's charging out here. Uh, not a lot of force fields left. In fact, I think those are the last two force fields from C. Charge is done, but only has about six zealots on the field trying to shoo this army away here from Marine King. Drop can be occurring in the main base as well. It looks like the Archon should be enough to usher this, this bio army out of there. Uh, and C should be able to outlast this aggression for now, at least. Drop any back in the main, but Seed's all over it. Yep. Oh, but Marine King takes it natural oh, now. It's no. undefended. Death basically all of his probes left. They're being mowed down here. So unfortunate for Seed losing so much more key economy. Marine King taking a third behind us as well. Is he going to get that Nexus? I don't think he will. Actually, he will. these are, these are angry Terran units. He's going to get it. It's going to be close. Yep, definitely going to get it. Natural expansion is gone. Going to ignite afterburn. Ignite those afterburners out of there. And now Seed is on one base. He's lost a lot of probes. Drops doing ridiculous damage everywhere. Marine King, meanwhile, going up to three bases. Seed saying, you know what? I want my revenge. Going to try to engage in the middle of the map here. Marine King going to be kiting back with his Marines and Marauders. And he can just keep running until he meets up with more reinforcements, keep kiting away because, uh, you know, it's going to be, oh, wow, great force field there from Seed. And that's oh, going to saves him with the That's going to prevent the, the pursuit from Seed. But Marine King, as it stands up, 110 to 79, three bases to his opponents, one. You know, the only thing that's been keeping Seed in this game is those oracles. Of course, uh, now there's only one left, but he still has 26 kills. Uh, just what? providing so much firepower there. You're joking, hold on. <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, they, they, they weren't more SCVs. They were during the battle. It was killing Marines. Uh, but it, it, they're it's just awesome. very useful units. He's gotten so much value from them. Unfortunately, uh, oh. I mean, he, he's he down one these? base to three. Uh, I think he had like a, a slight opportunity to trap those units a little bit. Wait, he can still get a force field down potentially on that ramp. Ring King's got medevacs. Oh, that's true. I mean, it, actually, he would get a bunch of kills, but uh, I'm not sure if it's enough. Oh, nice force fields actually squishing units together to make the Archons do maximum damage here. A great trade by Seed, but Marine King just has too many units. He's got high ground. He's got the concave. Oh, he's the got Oracle the surround. dies. That was the that was the leader. He's got the reinforcements. Yeah, so there's that's, the GG. That's the hero, man. Again, a, a situation where Marine King was up three bases to, to essentially one from his opponent. Yeah, Seed had to go all in. Yeah, there. he had to just yeah. throw every. I'm actually surprised he didn't pull his pros. But again, you want to keep your pros back so you can actually warp in because you can do that as protoss. But another great game for Marine King. It was. Uh, Marine King. I think he's figured out that. Right now in Harvest Swarm, Protoss are trying to do a lot of this fancy type stuff. Yeah. And so what, what he can do is he just gets a lot of units. And if they do something fancy, he just goes and he just kills them. Mm. And he's like, well, you can do Photon Overcharge in one base. I'll just jump in the other one. And I always get damage done. Uh, and if they play super standard and they have a big basic army, mm -hmm. he can use that large size to probably working drops and then take a third and progress to a, a normal game with, with a powerful map control advantage. Those medevacs are, are so dangerous. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised. I, I feel like after making the two oracles, perhaps a couple phoenixes to follow up to help deal with the medevacs. Yeah, it would have helped. But again, that's a timing. He would have had less units too, though. Exactly. So it's like it's, it's a timing from Marine King that kind of hits right after those two oracles come out. So it's, it could be very dangerous to try to do that. But I like the idea behind the oracles. Maybe just one and then going into phoenixes. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but you got to be so careful about those medevacs because that's essentially what turned a great defense from Seed into a great advantage from ranking. He was able to get the get all his units picked up, ignited those afterburners straight into the main. Seed didn't have an appropriate response to that. And then we saw all that ridiculous damage get done. So Great play there once again from Marine King. He's going to be up 2-0 in this best of five. Guys, stay tuned. We'll have game three coming your way after a quick break.